looking for a graphic designer that can make designs, infographics, flyers, export these in image formats, and also MP4 and GIF formats? Well, Doc Hippo can do this. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. As I mentioned before, Doc Hippo can export in image formats, video formats like MP4 and GIF. Plus, you can also publish this to the web or embed on a website. All of this with Doc Hippo. So if you want to grab a free account, link will be provided in the description. And if you want to jump into the pay plan, well, go check it out. So let's go check out Doc Hippo. This is my main panel. And the first thing that you're going to be greeted with is templates. Why templates? Because it's the easiest way to get started. They even got an award in 2022 with Captera for ease of use. So let me show you. First of all, you got all your templates here. We can go ahead and view them. You got infographics, flyers, posters, all your, your interesting ones that you might need for your business, book covers, business cards, calendar cards, etc. Now, some of these designs are available in the free plans and some will be on the premium plan. So consider that. You got blog banners, blog graphics, social graphics, and advertisements. Now, if you want to jump into the settings over here, business essentials, I want to start with infographics because it's kind of interesting how they make the designer for these infographics. It works via blogs. So when you are building a website, you know how it has blogs, you have modules. Well, it's kind of that kind of concept with this infographics designer. So basically, you have your free infographics here, and then you have the premium, premium ones, which are a little bit more complex, more things that you might have. So make buyer's decision. I'll grab this one. You can go ahead and preview this, but in this case, I'll just go ahead and select it. I'll give it my document owner. So I am this one, document name. I'll, I'll leave it as it is, and you can add a description if you like. I'll click next, and then we're going to be greeted with the actual designer. Okay, and in the designer, we're able to edit this infographic. Now, what I feel is kind of different with this is that they have blocks for this. So if I select this, I can actually stretch the block and I can add a block to this. So next block, I can jump here. I can add a block to this and work with this block. I can also clone the block. So that's kind of interesting when it comes to infographics. Now, when it comes to actually designing the system, I can click on the elements and it'll jump into the editing mode. So for this element that I've just selected, we have your clipboard. You got your normal headings, your fonts. You got your font size, colors. You got your bold, italic, underlined, the alignments, spacings, effects. And in effects, you got your horizontal. For example, this, this little stretch. That's kind of things that you might take for granted, but I've seen other uh, designers that don't have this. You can also blur. There you go. There's borders for this, border styles, dotted, dashed, solid, etc. You can add these and obviously make the border width, border radius. So let me go add this. There's a border radius. So we can even turn that into a button. Let's actually do that. Okay. Okay. So that's for that border color, the background. There's the outline for this an outline. If I want to add that there and I'll just keep it simple. All right. So let's just say that this is an infographic that you might want to use for uh, something else like, like publishing, right? You can also convert this into a link. So if you embed this on a website or if you export it, uh, be a link that it provides, you can actually click on this link. So let me convert this into a link. So I'll take this one to my website, which is sasmaster.net. I'm going to apply it. And now this is a link. You can see this here. There's a little link when you hover over this. And if I go into publish, so I'll publish this one. Publish, I'll go copy the link. We can also embed this. So if you want to embed it on a website, it is possible with Doc Hippo. So if I jump here, here's the infographic. Okay, checking it out checking it out and I can hover over this and it's an actual button. So if I click on it, it'll take me to my website. Now that's pretty cool. So now if this said buy or if it said check out this plan, etc., that'd be pretty cool, right? Because we can click on it. Okay. So that's for that. Now, when it comes to other elements that we have with it, Doc Hippo has available, you got your text elements, you got your text frames, you got your graphics and media. Now this is where you're going to find all these nice things that we can add. For example, backgrounds, you got your colors, you got your gradients, which are my favorite. Patterns, not a fan of patterns, but gradients, yeah. There's the lines, shapes, icons, stickers. If you go to icons, you got your search. So if you search for, I don't know, a cow. No, no cows available. Um, let's search for something like a mail. Okay, there we go. Now we have some mail there. So pretty interesting things that you can find in the icons. You got your stickers that are changing. There's several types of stickers. Again, you can search for these. I'm sure you can find cows there. There's the illustrations for illustrations again. Now there's a little crown here. That means they have to be on the paid plan. 
So if you're on the free plan, you don't have access to those, but it's pretty decent if you're on the free plan anyways. There's the pictures, there's the uploads. So if I upload an image, I'll just go ahead and upload something right now. I think I have an image of me. Okay, there's me, gonna upload that image. Let's go ahead and insert it. There we go. It's inside of this block. You see how it's kind of interesting how they work with blocks. So, okay, so here's this block. And if I want to remove the background, I'll click on this. Let's go ahead and remove it. There we go. It's done. Inserted. And there I am. Okay. So look into the horizontal. <laughs> All right. So let's go back. There's the uploads. There's videos. So remember, you can export an MP4 and GIF. So that makes it interesting. So if I hover over this, we're able to view the preview. There's YouTube if you want to pull them in from YouTube. There's QR codes. I think I like it. I like this one. So you can put a URL or text. So you could say like, again, my website, or it could just be text if you like, sasmaster.net. Change the QR code color, the background color, the margins. There we go. I'm going to keep it as it is. Let's go ahead and generate the QR code. And we have it here. Now, again, with QR code, let me go ahead and get rid of me and this. Okay. So we have a clear view of the QR code. In the QR code, again, we can go ahead and use a clipboard. There's a QR code. Now, settings here, there's the effects for this. So, for example, there's a border, horizontal. We can change the color for that to make it interesting. Blur. So, if I make this black, well, not a good choice for black because we're not able to see it that well. Maybe grayish. There you go. We can see it with gray. And then there's the border. So, if I want to add some border like dotted, well, not dotted, I want to use insert. Okay, insert. We got our border width, border radius. So, you can see we add some roundness to that and the border color if we want to change it. So I'll click away. Now we have a rounded corner system here. If I click on it again, again, we have your copy style. Copy style is if you grab another style from another section. So if I grab this and I copy this style, I'll go click on this one and it brings that color to this. So it's a really, it's a really good time saver once you start using it. I'll hit Command Z to get rid of that. There's the opacity for this. There's the add a range. So if you want to put it on top of a layer or behind that is possible or rotate. We can lock it in case we don't want to move it by mistake and we can go ahead and delete it from here. So a lot of settings for that. Now, other things that I find unique here is, for example, tables. If I click on table, we're able to create a table inside of Doc Hippo. So we have your rows and columns. So if I need more rows, I'll go ahead and add this and more columns to the right. And I'm just going crazy here. The header color settings. If I hover over this, I can say SAS. I can say price, et cetera, created here, uh, fonts, colors, et cetera, from there. There's the body for this, use one color, or we can change the color here, the body options. The borders for this, border width or less border width. So maybe you can remove it or add it, depends what you want. You can horizontal border, remove that, or keep the other one. So all that is possible. I can go ahead and insert it, and now we have it here, okay? And for this case, um. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. No, I'll get rid of it. It doesn't look good. Let's get rid of it. Okay. There's also page setup. So page margins, page transitions, forms. Oh, transitions is interesting because if you want to turn this into a GIF or a, uh, a video, that is possible. So zoom in center, zoom in up. You can see the speed. If I go slow, we're going to be able to view it slow. Let's go back. You got your forms. They have an integration with type form. You have to log in to use that. And there's the, the versions history for this. Okay, so once you have this ready and you want to go ahead and export this, I can, right now it's published. So remember, we made that. I can unpublish it if I like. I can preview this. So if I like it, here we go. Hover over it. We have a button here to click on it. Get away from that. There's the percent. If you want to present this, if there's several pages like this one, there's the download. We have the option for uh, JPEG, PNG, PNG transparent. And then we have the quality for normal if you're in the free version or medium high for the paid version. Then you have PDF and then you have MP4 and GIF export. Okay. There's also that one. There we go. And GIF. So that's pretty cool that we have that because if this was in a video with animation, because there's animations in the graphics, for example, here, but when I some animations, you can export it. Or if you're actually using this on a website, well, the animation will be previewable. Okay. So I mean, let's just add this confetti here. Okay. Let's. Go there. Let's go into the preview. There we go. We have some confetti there. We have the link here. So just like that. And we're able to export it. So that's for the infographics. Now, if we go into flyers, posters, presentations, 
uh, the designer kind of changes. So if I click on this one, just for testing purposes, I'll go next and then we'll have the designer here. Okay, here we go. It just loaded it. Now, something that changes here, we do get all the settings for graphics, tables, QR codes, etc. All of this is available. What does change is the way it's uh, building. Like I mentioned the other one that looks unique because it's kind of in blocks and it really helps out when it comes to building infographics. With this one, it's one single block, okay? And yes, we can create another page for this. So if you wanna make some transitions to make these videos, that is possible. So a lot of things are available with Doc Hippo. If you wanna use it with Calm and check it out for yourself, go ahead and grab the free version and test it out to decide if it's the right fit for you or not. If you wanna check it out, link will be provided in the description. Now do let me know what you think in the comments about Doc Hippo and don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's a wrap.